Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to show you uh, one of my favorite juices that I like to juice. Um, it involves a variety of ingredients that are super good for you and I guess let's get started. I'll start by telling you some of the benefits of each of the ingredients. So here we have kale. I have about six individual stalks of kale. Kale is super good for inflammation. It's high in iron, it has antioxidants, it has calcium, it has vitamin C for the immune system, and it also lowers the cholesterol. And it probably has many other benefits as well. Here we have cilantro, a huge bunch of cilantro. Big, big bunch. Um, Cilantro eliminates heavy metals from the body, so it's really good to get out toxins in our tissues. The chemicals in cilantro actually attach to the metals in our body and it transports them out of the tissues. Here we have parsley. I have about half a bunch of parsley. I didn't have um, a full bunch but this should work. Parsley makes you smell really good. It's really good for your heart and for reducing inflammation so people who have arthritis and gout it's super good for you. Um, here we have cucumbers. I really like to put cucumbers in my juice. It adds a lot of bulk to the juice. Cucumbers as we all know um, rehydrates and replenishes the body with B vitamins and it helps to lower the blood pressure in our body. I have about so four stalks of celery here. Sometimes I'll add six or four depending on what I have. Celery have lots of cell salts. They calm the nerves. They act as a digestive remedy and a liver stimulant. And here I forgot to say that I have about half a cucumber, of a long English cucumber. Here I have two carrots. Carrots are really good for the eyes because they contain beta carotene, which is why they have that really bright orange pigment. And here we have spinach. I'll probably add about a cup of spinach, perhaps. A cup or two cups. I haven't decided yet, but Spinach is really high in iron, it has selenium, and it has lots of omega-3s, among others. And, of course, I add two lemons. I really like to add lemons to my juice because it makes it more palatable. And lemons help to prevent oxidation of the greens themselves. Uh, lemons are super high in vitamin C, so it's super good for the immune system. And I will juice the lemons in here because I like to uh, have a better taste in the lemon juicer. I don't like to juice lemons in the juicer itself because I just like what it tastes like better with the juicer. And here is the juicer itself. I use an Omega juicer, the Chrome. I'll start with the cilantro. This juicer takes a little bit longer to juice because it's a masticator so it takes out all the nutrients of the greens like a lot, it concentrates it as opposed to a juicer like a Breville which is better for fruits and watery things like celery and 
cucumbers. This juicer is super good for really hearty greens like parsley and kale. I'll also sometimes add ginger or turmeric to this juice. Both really good anti-inflammatory herbs, roots. Today I do not have those, so I'm not adding them. However, these ingredients are still like the base of my favorite number one super duper healthy detox green juice. These juicers run for about $300. I got this one for $130 from an older couple who were not using it anymore, so I lucked out on that one. Um, but you still can get cheaper juicers for like $100. The Brazil juicers, I believe, are around that range, and they still work, so it is an option. extra protein and meat which our bodies are not adapted to really do so the meat just sits in our intestines and backs us up and um, I wouldn't recommend eating a meat heavy diet if you do consume meat products um, I would say minimize the amount you eat every day eat it like two to three times a week if you really cannot get past it.
So the juice is done. I'm going to put it into my glass container and I'm going to put juice to lemons. I'm going to put them in here and I'll be back. Okay, so I finished my juice and this is the end product. It makes about one liter, I would say. I believe that is one liter in this glass jar. So the last thing we do is of course test it to make sure that it tastes like my green juice. And of course it tastes like my green juice. So this is my number one go-to green juice. I have it almost every single day. And yeah, so if you would like to see more recipes like this, uh, smoothie recipes, I'm going to have meal recipes, other fruit preparation recipes, and yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'm pretty sure I already said that. If you could subscribe to livelovefruit.com and go check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash livelovefruit. And I'm on Twitter at Live Love Fruit and Pinterest at Live Love Fruit. So yeah, go check me out and I wish you a happy, lovely evening, day, morning and lots of green juice. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.